How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. I just received a check in the mail for $15,000 from my mentor, Paul. When I first opened this, I was just, I was like, no, why are you giving this to me? I don't actually need it. So you must be like, what? That's, that's great. Or you might be like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe you just kind of got so much money even though you know, you're know you pretty successful, all right? You are financially independent. You probably don't even need this amount of money. Yes, it's true. I don't really need it to survive and I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it. So there's gonna be a lot of questions from you guys. Who is he? What, when, where, why? All these other questions. Why did he give it to me? All these things will be answered in this video. Before I begin, hit that like button on this video. It really helps me out. And if you're interested, subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell. It also helps me out a lot. So one of the things that you're asking is, <laughs> beat the bush, you have a mentor? Who the heck is he? Is he like, you know, a YouTuber? Because I am one, right? No, his name is Paul. He is a retired electrical engineer. Right now he lives in Florida and last time I visited Florida, I went to Disney World with my other friends. I just decided to visit him because I was there. The thing is, I would have to say over these many, many years, it's not like I just said, oh, you know, will you be my mentor or anything? It just sort of happened. And then over these many, many years, because he uh, used to be an electrical engineer, he still is, he writes a lot of articles these days. He has sort of mentored me uh, whenever I have, I don't know, career issues and stuff. And he even found me at least three jobs. I think I'm miscounting here. I really have to sit down and go, okay, did he, uh, was he involved in it? But he found me at least three jobs. So he is like sort of this, <laughs> mentor person that hangs around and just helps me out greatly. Like, I guess I wouldn't be here today if, you know, he didn't help me out with all these different jobs. I just keep on getting really, really lucky. And the fact that he is around in my life, you know, I feel lucky myself. So another thing you might be asking is how, how did you get a mentor like that? Is not someone I just kind of, you know, searched out somewhere and picked. You know, you have all these financial gurus and they're like, you know, you should find a lot of mentors, like five or six of them or a lot of them, as many as you can so that you can learn from all of them. That's not the way I operated. I just kind of existed. I did the best I could and somehow, God, I don't know who, someone, somehow I got lucky and I don't know, I, I got a mentor. The way I can trace back on what happened, I think I can just start talking about when I was in high school, when I started to participate in this contest called uh, First Robotics or something. I was in that robotics thing. And back in high school, I was very into electronics. I even took an electronics class, even though it was very easy. People tend to go and take that class for an easy A, but then I went in like with a fury and I completed all their little experiment thing within like a month or something. And then I went on to like their second book. I finished that and then they just didn't have enough material for me. I just like to take their uh, assignments and I miniaturized them somehow. You know, it used to be like a big project box like this. It might be like uh, some sort of buzzer thing or it might be like a counter or something. And then I would just kind of miniaturize it. Uh, this was a course in high school. And then during the course of having this high school thing, they have this uh, robotics contest and I'm like, oh, gung ho, you know, I really like this stuff. So then I ended up being uh, the project lead uh, of this thing. And then there was this volunteer who came from Lamb Research, his name was Bob. And then he, I guess he saw me presenting in front of everyone. And then after this robotics thing, he offered me a job. And this is how I got a job uh, working to, help him fix up his personal airplane. This is a two passenger airplane, it's called um, an RV4. Basically, you have to fabricate uh, aluminum parts based on the blueprints and then you know do a lot of riveting and stuff, drill holes and things like that. So eventually this guy, Bob, he had a lot of contracting work, right? During this consulting work, he had another friend, which is Paul, which became my mentor, but at the time, you know, when I did this collaboration, all I did was just basically a spreadsheet monkey, right? Like they had all these uh, reliability analysis calculations they needed to do. So then 
I'm the spreadsheet monkey, so then I go into all the spreadsheets and then I modify it, you know, make them all look really pretty, uh, just so that they can take this and turn it into the company that they contracted for. So this is how I got to meet Paul and eventually he hired me to do something else. Sometimes when he had work at other firms, you know, he would rope me in and then go, hey, oh, this is another one. He got me an internship um, at a semiconductor company. So, you know, this is four jobs already right there. So he's been, I don't know, just helping me out all throughout my life, everything. And then now he sends me this thing. I mean, this is just endless. I, I, I'm just so blessed, right? Some of you have said in the comments, I am so blessed. I am, I am so blessed. So <laughs> gonna get emotional again. Next question you may have is how do I go and find a mentor that will eventually give me $15,000? <laughs> How do I find a mentor that will eventually find me all these jobs? How do I find a mentor that will just help me out in numerous ways, life ways, career ways, all kinds of different ways. I, the thing is, I don't know. All I did was, I guess, try to pursue my passion. I guess that was electronics. This is how I got to know him and I, I can only infer why he, he picked me out of, you know, all these other people that he met for me to be his mentee. Maybe I work hard. I don't know. I can only guess. Maybe I need to ask him uh, this. I need to send him an email and ask him about this. So I, I actually don't know how this happened. Yeah. So I, I don't know. So if you're trying to look for a mentor that will eventually do all this stuff for you and eventually give you $15,000, I think this is probably the wrong way to do it. Uh, you don't do this. I never expected this. I don't think you can actually go, Oh, let me find someone to give me $15,000. You, you can't, you can't do this. Uh, because I think if you, if, if you have the mindset of trying to, trying to like get someone to give you money, then it's just not going to work. So why did my mentor give me $15,000? He gave it to me around, uh, around my birthday. Some of you have guessed that I am a Virgo just based on how picky I am. Uh, in fact, last time I went to a dinner with a friend, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, the table is kind of sticky. So then I put like a piece of napkin on, and then I put my elbow on there. So it's like, you're a Virgo, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm a Virgo, uh, like super picky about certain things and then not picky about <laughs> a few things, I guess. So then the thing he likes to emphasize when I talked about, Hey, you know, can I make a video? Uh, about this money that you gave me, he okayed it. And then he basically reiterated that, oh, I'm giving you $15,000 because that is the maximum that you can give based on IRS tax rules. $15,000 is uh, for 2019, the maximum that you can give without incurring taxes. So $15,000 is a lot of money. So you don't, you don't go around saying, okay, I'm going to max that out and then give it to someone because Oh my gosh. I mean, this is, this is like a car, a small car. I can't buy quite a Tesla yet though. Right. Because it's, I think it's like $30,000 or something. I can buy half a Tesla. This is half a Tesla right here, but I'm not going to go buy one because I already have a car. And in fact, if this car goes dead, I probably won't buy another one. I'm thinking about just, you know, when, wherever I need to go, I can pay up to like a hundred dollars every month and I'll still come out ahead. So maybe I don't need a car. I'm going to use my electric scooter. That's just sitting over there. So the other question you might have is what does he want me to do with it? There's no criteria basically. And he just said, this is a gift. It truly is a gift. You can do whatever you want with it. But he did say, uh, in this letter, a true gift, spend it on drugs alcohol, a 4k workstation, a big vacation, or live for a year on it, you might pull it off with your frugal ways. Now I do think I could spend it in ways where it would very be very disappointing, but it just isn't in me to kind of, kind of waste it. Like I can't, you know, I cannot like, unless I force myself. And, and even if I force myself, it's going to be hard. So I had this whole idea of why don't I spend $5,000? Okay. Over and beyond what I normally spend. I normally spend close to, I think 13 to $1,500 every single month. So if I suddenly inflate my lifestyle to 
uh, $5,000 more than this, okay? I'm gonna try to spend $5,000 within a month. This is, I feel, this is a great experiment because it's gonna be incredibly hard for me. I'm like, I've thought about this idea for many, many months and I'm like, what the heck am I gonna spend it on? I already buy what I want. I already go, you know, eat what I want. Uh, if I go and splurge like crazy on restaurants and stuff, I'm essentially going to compromise my health because I think the food is not very good. Um, I can just blow it off on certain things, but I feel like I feel really terrible because, you know, it's just wasting money because I can take this and use it in very useful ways. And this is where I want to uh, go with it. If I spend $5,000 in a month, I want to make it constructive. Let me give you an example of what I spent this money on already. Uh, the lens that you guys are seeing me through is the brand new, new lens. It cost me about $700 and I'm going to say, you know, I bought uh, this lens with this $15,000. Uh, this is the old lens that I used to use and I carried it around everywhere. So that's why I have the old lens here and the new lens on the camera. I plan to buy this espresso machine. Um, it's about $700. It's very expensive. Uh, make your own espresso at home. It's one of these very durable ones that, you know, Italian places would actually use. I think it's actually made in Italy. Uh, I don't want to buy those cheapy ones, $300 ones, where they have all these plastic tubes in it. And basically, it will only last a few years. So I want to buy a thing that will last a really long time. Now, this is not just for my own coffee addiction or anything because I drink both coffee and tea. Um, I also want to possibly, I don't know if I can do this yet, but uh, make some sort of robotic arm so that I can do some sort of controlling, you know, just kind of messing around with, it, with electronics. So don't quote me on this. I'm not sure if I can even get it done. It's just kind of like a little hobby of mine. Um, that I do outside of YouTube. The other thing I just kind of thought about is maybe I should go indoor skydive. I have went regular skydiving before, but I'm kind of curious about indoor skydiving, just kind of do the trial run and see what it's like. Maybe I'll like it. It's just something new to try, something that's new, right? We never had this. They need these very powerful wind tunnels to push it. And then you're inside some sort of container and you can fly within place. You don't actually have to drop from the sky. Uh, which is in a way a lot safer. I thought about using my $1,300 New York trip and just kind of subtracting off of this, but then, you know, just thinking about it. I just didn't feel right about taking that off. It was just an easy way out because I planned the trip before getting this gift. So I don't think I'm gonna take uh, $1,300 off of this 15,000. I feel like right off top, I should just invest eight to ten thousand dollars of it maybe just stick it in a savings account maybe i don't know i'll buy some stocks or something um this is an easy way out for me and i think realistically this is where it's gonna go the rest of it okay this is around five thousand dollars or so i want to do something with it okay i'm not sure what it is yet but Maybe I want to invest it in these videos, invest it in this content so that it, essentially you guys will eventually see it somehow in, in, in the form of this video. Maybe it would be like better something, green screen. I don't, I don't know, those are pretty cheap, but you know, something where I'm kind of uh, using it to invest or maybe you know, buy on something, just spend it in a intelligent way and not just burning it. And you know me, me being so frugal, this is kind of like torture, right? <laughs> it, it might be funny to watch me trying to spend so much money on purpose within a month. I'm just like racking my brain every single day uh, thinking on how I can actually accomplish this. So there it is, based on my personality, if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know I am not BSing you guys. This is this is really true. I got this. I'm not, this, this is a real letter. <laughs> I didn't just like put a little piece of paper together and then go, Oh, look, look at this. This is like, I got $15,000. I got like a million dollars because I know for a fact, sometimes when you watch a lot of videos, people like to make up stuff, kind of like bro blow things out of proportion just to get more views. And gosh, it's hard to verify this information, right? Can you believe this or not? Can you believe me? Can you believe that I, I you know, someone gave me $15,000 or did I just make this up and then, you know, to get more views, then, then people are gonna watch my videos. I'm gonna get more money, right? And I don't think there's a way for most 
people, most subscribers to verify their YouTubers because, you know, you just have to take whatever people said on camera, you know, just as truth. But we do know that there's a lot of lying going on. You know, you look at Instagram, there's people that photoshops their pictures. This does not limit to what people say, right? People can say whatever they want. They can like just draw up some numbers on some bank account and go, hey, this is what I have. But then internally, are they really, you know, who they are, you know, how much their net worth is. This is just the world that we live in. You have to take everything with a grain of salt, including myself, although I claim to be telling the truth. You know, I hope you guys believe me based on me having subscriber gatherings and a lot of people, they just show up to my gatherings, you know, and they're like, hey, you know what? <laughs> you appear exactly the way that you are on camera. This is this is the way I am. This is, you know, I, I'm telling the, you the truth, how I obtain these things, you know. I am an engineer, I'm an electrical engineer, so yeah. Anyway, don't forget to give me a like on this video if you haven't already. Comment down below, let me know what you would do with a $15,000 gift like this. I know this is a lot of money. Some people, you know, they're not in the same financial situation as I am, and that would mean that much more. In my position, it, it, it doesn't really change my life a lot, but I do appreciate the gift and I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I am lucky and blessed. Push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.